Stacks back. Scoop phase MTG. You like Timmy Dex? I like Timmy Dex. This is the ultimate Timmy Dex. So this deck started out as a completely different idea. So I like to play a lot of different jank decks. I like to experiment. Um, I've been having fun experimenting with Ikoria. And I noticed something about the meta um, that was starting to agitate me a little bit was that it's very counterspellish, control happyish right now. So I, I thought to myself, well, I want to build something that's anti-counterspell, anti-control. And that was the basis of this deck. Um, this deck is all creatures. And I know that sounds bad, um, naturally, for almost any magic deck to be all creatures would be all bad, but this deck is actually very good. This is a very good deck. I went from Diamond 4 all the way to Mythic in an hour and a half playing this deck. Um, it's very hard to get quality matches on film with this deck because people just concede because they they, they get outclassed very quickly. Um, they, they don't really know what's going on because it's not a meta deck. It's not something that you see um, going on in the meta right now. So. This is a non-meta deck, and yes, it took me into Mythic, um, which is, I'm accustomed to doing because like I said, I do play a lot of jank, but let's get into the deck. So the deck has Umari as the companion. Naturally, he kind of fell into the companion spot. I really wasn't intending for this to be a companion deck, but once I realized that the deck was better off being all creatures, I figured why not put Umari in the, com in the companion spot. So his ability is all my non-land cards have to share the same type. Um, well, I'm running all creatures. So everything that is in the land is in a creature. And he makes all of those creature spells cost one less to cast. Um, he's, this, he's very consistent with coming out on turn three. So he applies heavy pressure to your opponent, especially if you're on the play. Um, I got two Grazer for some ramp, uh, three Humble Naturalists for some ramp, and also pairs well with Kong. Uh, which I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, four Paradise Druid, two Kanan. I love this card. I love Kanan in this deck. Um, I'm only running two two copies, but I love this card in the deck because it synergizes so well with, with, with what it is that you're doing. I mean, you can instant speed use his ability at the end of your opponent's turn, find one of your fight creatures, They come. the creature comes in, kills off that thing, and then you're ahead of the game. Um, you're vastly ahead of them on the next turn not to mention that this is all probably happening in the early to mid game portion of the game of the matchup so your creatures are going to greatly outclass, the, outclass their creatures um, more than likely um, at that stage of the game so anything coming in fighting that stuff is just going to kill it off um i'm, I'm running four hydro crisis of course because i'm only running creatures so i gotta have a way to to draw cards crisis is perfect he's a creature he draws me cards and he was in that anti-counter idea that I originally came up with. Um, he can be countered, but at least when you get his effect off of him being cast. Um, I'm running two Nylea. She's great in this deck. She also makes creature spells cost one less to cast. Also a form of card, card advantage if you needed to be. Uh, for No Hide Fur Rocks and for Shifting Ceratops. These two guys are great together. Um, no hide, he has hexproof unless somebody pays two and takes it away. And you can't cast non creature spells, but you don't care about that because you're running all creatures anyway. So, again, the downside to the card is we don't care about that. Um, he applies so much heavy pressure in the early game to your opponents, he forces them to have to deal with it. And control and counter decks don't like him because if they have to invest an extra two mana into him to remove him, then it, it depletes them of their resources to try to, to have mana up to counter or deal with something else that you may play, may cast after they get done dealing with him. Uh, Ceratops, we all know, is a nightmare for blue. That's no surprise. Uh, Nikea of the old ways is excellent. I wish I could have this in the companion spot versus Umari because it's so much better. But, I mean, if you get it down, then you'll be so far ahead of the game on mana, you can just start dropping multiple bombs, multiple threats um, in one turn if you have this out. So... This is excellent. And then the, the powerhouses of the deck is, is, of course, King Kong and Thorn Mammoth. So at first, I didn't like Thorn Mammoth when I first looked at it because I was like, man, that's just a big, dumb elephant. And if it comes out late game because it costs seven, so it's designed to be a late game type of card, then there's a lot of chances where it'll just end up being a removal spell because people will often have you know they'll play some smaller creatures that'll get a lot of tokens on them and they'll grow and be bigger than thorn mammoth so he'll come in and fight it 
And you can't control his fight when you have uh, other creatures coming into play. If you play a creature with him out, he's going to fight. He's he's obligated to fight something. So I was like, man, that's a that's a bad card. But then in this deck, when he's coming out early game, when he's coming out turn four, or turn five, he's most likely going to outclass something on the board on your opponent's side, and he's just going to kill it. And then you'll just be killing their stuff and killing their stuff and killing their stuff, and then they they get tired of it and they concede. Um, Kong. This card is excellent because it stands up against Fires of Inventions and, and Witches' Ovens and all that stuff. All you got to do is attack with him and he blows him up. And he pairs well with Humble Naturalist and Kanan because these are humans. So if they if you're going up, up against Board Wipe and you have a human out with Kong, you can just return a human to your hand. That saved the human, makes Kong indestructible. So now he's indestructible. They Board Wipe, yeah, but now they still got a 7-6 on the board they got to try to deal with. Um, so it's a nightmare for control and, you know, them trying to remove your stuff. Um, as far as the land base, I'm running two island, uh, one temple of epiphany, three stomping ground, one temple of abandon, three breeding pool, uh, one temple of mystery. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me, uh, let me move myself over here. There we go. Um, so you guys can see what's going on over here. Um, and I'm running uh, two mountain, two castle, Garenbrig, seven forest, two steam vents, and two of the tri land. Um, as far as the sideboard goes, this was these cards were in the original portion of the deck at first um, with the whole anti counter idea, but I ended up taking these out and putting them in the sideboard because I wasn't seeing counter spell decks anymore. So uh, four Destiny Spinner, two Night Pack Ambusher, three Frill Mystic, Mystic, two Thrix, one Dream Eater, and two Niv Mizzet. Um, these I left them in the sideboard so that way if I do encounter with a counter spell deck in a best of three matchup, this sideboard can kind of act as a uh, transformational sideboard and come in and just downgrade, massively downgrade my opponent's counter spells. So this deck is a lot of fun, but it was hard to get some quality matches on, on film because people concede so fast and they realize what's going on and what's happening and all this stuff starts getting killed um but like i said i went from diamond tier four to mythic in an hour and a half and i do have that match at the end of the the end of the video of me going from diamond one into mythic playing this deck so uh make sure you watch the video all the way to the end um let's get into the gameplay it's a great man definitely keep got the two mammoths but I don't like to see those two of those so early, but be all right. I can get Omar down turn uh turn three. Physiologist. It's a doctor. I wonder if he's an actual doctor. Playing against a doctor here. I love these humble naturalists. So good in this deck. Playing that must be playing that Orzolf uh, ping deck. Get Omari down here. With no lures. Where's your lures? You have lures as your companion. It's weird. The doctor's not constructing his deck very smartly. Go ahead. Set some stuff down and ping me. We already know your deck. It's a one trick pony. Just pings. Pings your opponent to death. Surprised he ain't uh, put down the oven. Um, let's get down King Kong here. Yeah. It's, no need to play Kinan right now, so. Which one do I want to kill? Kill the corpse knight. That's the one that can get the most triggers right now. Swing in. Doctor should have had Dr. Lewis in. Doctor up his, his creatures that are going to be dying. 
Where's Dr. Lewis? Your assistant. Oh well. Oh. It's got Heliod. Dr. Heliod. Give his give his creatures some steroids. Alright. Let's get Naturalist down. So um I'll play. Yeah, I can tap one of these. I'll get command down just to so I can be able to protect Kong in case he has any kind of destroy removal. Swing in with both of these. <clears throat> Too bad I can't blow up that Heliod. Should put it. This deck wasn't all like creature based. I could put a Shadow Spear in there, but. Oh well. That ping damage in. The doctor sticking me with the needles. What you got, Doc? What's happening, Doc? What you got? Gonna stick me with some more needles. Some more needle damage. You got gonna get the big retarded mammoth down now just make his life miserable Let's kill the, the bigger cruel celebrant first I'll play paradise druid and kill the other one after he's done pinging me dr. Heliod Shooting up that celebrant with steroids. Go ahead and kill it. Mammoth has more steroids. Oh. Uh, good hand. Good hand, good hand. Uh oh. Going up against some Garuda combo. Some Garuda combo. Hmm. Not the not the blue black version. I've been seeing more of this uh this uh Esper version lately. Uh, I guess people trying to put some more control elements in it or something. I don't know. The charming Prince. He's charming. He gets all the ladies. He's charming. Mari. I love how consistent this deck is with getting Mari down on turn three. Makes a world of a difference. Kind of forces the opponent to have to remove him, or stuff just spirals out of control too fast for him. Uh, untap. Let's see. I wanna, I wanna apply some heavy pressure. So, yeah, I can, I can play no hide, and I can play Kenan. So, pressure my opponent. Again. Gotta outrace the Garuda, cause once it goes off, it's pretty much no stopping it. Yeah. I like Kanan so so much in this deck. Why is he holding priority? I like that Kanan animation. <laughs> Swinging in. Don't block it. Charming. Wants to keep his prince. The Thassa. Flicker. Oh, that has to die. I keep him off his mana. Missing land drops. Elephant's gonna swipe that. Fly swat. First I thought this was just like a, a big stupid elephant, but yeah, I had enough mana, man. He's looking at my mana. Man. I like how I can still like get big stuff off of this deck. Even when I'm mana screwed because there's like so many 
ways of upping my mana and cheating mana. The elephant's not, it's nothing to get off. Probably gonna concede now. Oh, alright, well. Oh. Uh. Nah. Much better. Wish I would have got this in my initial seven. Man. This is like perfect hand. I gotta I gotta throw something back. Oh. Uh, um I guess I guess I'll just put back the Kong. Cause Crasis can draw me into some more stuff. Alright. Hopefully I'll scry into another land here. I don't need that. I already got one of those. Mr. Purple Sly. That's the name. Like that land. The naturalist down. Just swinging for zero. Let's just, let's just start doing that more often. Swinging for zero. What are you playing? Life game? Caps in? Alright. Get a more down. I'm gonna swing it for zero now. Keep it. Keep it on blocks. Uh oh. Another Dr. Heliod. Coming for revenge for the doctor from the last match. Um. Yeah. Knock you down since I can't seem to draw lands. Help me out a whole lot. It's ridiculous to be have a land ramp that can be managed for Or land screw, that's to say. Oh, that primate. Dr. Heliot. Some more steroids. Wait, no. I'm gonna I'm keep this. I, I, I'll take the three now. Save it. Save the grazer for when it gets bigger and I actually need to block. I can stand to take three now. Hurry, I get a land. It's a tap land. Of course. Uh, I'm gonna get Kanan down. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna just go ahead and play Crisis. Hopefully, I can draw into some lands. Yeah, it's crazy. No lands. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna attack. He might, he might get wise and try to block, double block with with his uh, primate and his whatever that is. Oh, private, private draining. Part of the fun police, the Teferi fun police. Well, this turned into a standoff board. I'm about to draw some equalizing. I think uh, my play now is to, to actually play uh, Kanan now. So I can try to use his ability and, and see if I can hit something that, uh, that will fight and start clearing off some of this board. So let's go ahead and do that. Get Kanan down. Uh, still got one green floating. That's good. So if I hit a, if I hit a mammoth off of Kanan right now, I still have mana floating where I can play either Paradise Druid or Nimble uh Humble Naturalist. To uh, kill two things. Let's see what we get. There we go. I'm gonna kill his primate first, so he doesn't get any more steroids injected into him. I'm gonna play Paradise Druid. 
And uh, I kill the bird. I lose my elephant, but two for one him, so it's good for me. What are you doing? Oh, oh, come on, man! Yep, good keep. Wish I was going first, Mr. Kent, Clark Kent. Wonder if he's gonna be super in this matchup. Uh, I'll keep that on top. Um, got enough mana here working, so extra paradise jewel for insurance. Case one gets removed. Going on some cycling here. You know I like the cycling stuff. Abzan? Abzan cycling? Hmm. Interesting take. Take it. Of course I'll take it. You already knew that. Superman. Wonder if Dr. Helio is gonna come to the party this time. It's popular today. Helio's been chasing me. Man, it's so hard to get these matches to come to a good conclusion because people have been conceding. They concede so fast. Like I, I've run through this through diamond I've run through the diamond tier from tier four all the way up to tier two now and like oh wasn't expecting that okay uh yeah well I'll play another paradise through it but yeah I've I've gone through tier four all the way up to tier two now in like an hour so fast just because people can see man what is that what is he, what is he doing? Oh. It's an eerie ultimatum winning this graveyard. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing now. I like it. That was the next card I was going to experiment with, actually, is the eerie ultimatum. Um. You know. Maybe it's getting Ilea down. So that way, he plays a creature or something. I can just play one of my fight creatures and kill it, and Nylea will be active, and then I'll swing with her. What you got, Kent? I'll cycle some more stuff. I like cycling. Oh. Oh, man. Kent's on it. It's like, Abzan control? Kill your zombie here. If he doesn't remove Kong, then uh, I'm gonna swing my Paradise Druid. If he doesn't remove Kong, then Kong will blow up his, his Elspeth, conquer dead, so they didn't get anything back from the grave. What you got, Kent? Psycho. I like Godzilla. Enough lands. We need more of those. Right. I'm gonna leave Paradise Druid up so I can play my Crisis here. For maximum value. Uh, Set seven. I'm gonna wait. I think that's eight. Yeah, it's eight. Races for eight. Oh man! All these lands. Come on, man! Come on, lands. Oh! Uh oh, this is bad. 
Top it. Top it, guys. Answered him. Gave him ultimatum. Oh, that's the chance of this coming back. He's gonna exile. Crisis. Oh. Calm. Guess he won't calm blowing up any more stuff. Should've, should've exiled the Crisis, though. He had 11 life. Crisis flies. You didn't have anything with reach. It's crazy that Godzilla doesn't have reach. It's like a thousand feet tall. They don't have reach. Well, I'm at 21. You're not. Uh, I'm gonna fight some stuff here. Kill the fox first before he gets any bigger. Let's play Paradise Druid and fight the other dude that makes tokens. Alright. Now I can block the 7 7 and it's gotta remove the crisis. Or he's just gonna die. It's got to. I don't care about your. Can't cast creature, non-creature spells, or they cost two more, or whatever. I don't have any of those. All I have is creatures. All I got is lands right now in my hand, but you know what I mean. Don't do something to my crisis. The crystal's not gonna help you. All right. So block. Uh. Oh, come on, man. Yep, keep this. Oh, we're both Diamond Tier 1. This could be the game uh, for somebody to get into Mythic. Well, it is my game to get into Mythic. I wonder if it's his game to get into Mythic. Battle of Champions. CJ Ross versus Stax Rockman. Who makes it to Mythic? He's probably super excited. Like, it's one more win. Yeah, you can do it. Don't lose to a jank deck, man. You playing? Chess guy? Alright. Means I gotta, gotta be open minded to watch out for, for board wipes here. Probably got some counter spells too, but let's see if he. At least I got two Ceratops, so can't count on those. Swing in. Rather get the damage in now instead of flooding the board with too much stuff. Because if I was a betting man, I'd bet that he's got some board wipes. So I don't want to overcommit. I think he's holding up counter magic. Pretty sure he is. Um, I think I'm gonna try to run out this. Uh, I'm just gonna run out this Ceratops. So if if he does have a board wipe, he's gonna be pressured to use it since he couldn't counter that. He's got the board wipe, he's gotta he's gotta use it now. So Come on CJ. Put up a fight, man. Gotta do better. It's not looking good for you. What you got? One more win. In Mythic, I'm not gonna lose to this. Creatures. I'm playing control. He's thinking. Oh. Come on, 
Don't shock some. Don't. Don't. Yeah, it's old for you. Uh, I'm gonna tell him good game. Good game, buddy. Just wasn't your time. Ceratops. <laughs> Could see all the way to Mythic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like seeing that you can make Mythic without playing a meta deck. It's possible. It's possible. Do it with some style. Always remember to like and subscribe, and I am giving away a free Arcoria draft box to a lucky subscriber once I meet 100 subs. Also, to my subscribers, if you like this video and you're subscribed to me, I am picking three of my lucky subscribers. To receive three, well, you'll each receive one premium draft code for Arena this Friday. So you can use that, play FNM this Friday. So I will pick those Friday morning. Um, so yeah, all you gotta do is be subscribed to me and like this video and uh, to be in the running for that. So yeah, good luck to everybody. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. See you guys next time.